one can kick again until we go into extra kicks at that point. Again, number 23, Sashin Gorez, number 23 for the kickers, taking the first kick. We'll see what happens here. They're at the goal to our left. And here comes Gora's first attempt. He's going to strike the ball in straight, almost straight down the middle, a little bit to Duckworth's left side, but goal nonetheless. One nothing, one kick for the kickers. Andre Budney is going to be the next kicker for the Hammerheads, or the first kicker for the Hammerheads. He faces, of course, goalkeeper Ronnie Pascal. This is the Hammers' first kick. Here's Budney, and he puts it about the same spot. Little hesitation, and a strike. We're 1-1, imagine that, tied and again. David Bulo, he's making that long walk. Duckworth again in goal, of course, and the crowd's booing uh, Bulo. Imagine that, had a definitely a retaliation on uh, Gareth Evans. And all 3,500 of these Hammerhead fans are booing Bulo. And here comes his attempt. And he strikes just to the right of Duckworth. That looked to be a little bit slow of an attempt right out of the reaches of Duckworth. Kick number two coming for the Hammers. Jada places his ball. Pascal walks the line. Whistle's blown. Here's the attempt. And it's going to be a goal. 2-2. Two -two. Jada connects. Two two, your score. Deadlocked again. We've been tied all night long. Here's Hirayama. His kick, he finds a great penalty. Side netting, bounces around. That's a great penalty kick there, number nine. 3-2 Richmond kickers. Next kicker here is Diego Barrera for the Hammerheads. 25 jersey for the Hammers. Of course, Pascal in goal again. This is the third kick. 3-2 kickers. Here's Barrera, and he makes a great penalty kick himself. Not much of an approach there, one or two steps, and he just nails it 3-3. Delicate takes his time up to the spot. He's certainly going to have a bigger approach here than Barrera did on that last kick. Referee whistles. Here's Delicate's attempt. And buries it 4-3. Kickers, they're going to draw this one out here. Here's Andres Cuero, number 10 for the Hammerheads. He was cramping up earlier. I'm wondering if this fatigue is going to play into this in any way, shape, or form. Pascal's in goal again. This is the fourth kick, 4-3 Four, to the kickers. Here's Cuero's kick. Save, but just trickles in. A good attempt by Ronnie Pascal. And I tell you what, on. Uh, Andres Cueros' lump was in his throat there. Swallows hard, and it was a gasp of uh, fresh air for the fans here after they saw that ball trickle over the line. 4-4. Four, four. This is the number 12 jersey. Shaka Benjura for the kickers. Kicker number five. Deadlocked. That's been the word tonight. Here's his kick. And he's got a side netting penalty kick. Absolutely wonderful. 5 4. It's up to Chris Bagley now at this point in time. He's got to sink this one. Veteran player, been in all sorts of leagues here in the United States, MLS. 
First Division USL Pro League. He's been out of the game for a while. Chris Bagley, number 33, his attempt on veteran Ronnie Pascal. Here's his kick. Chris Bagley. And he saves it. That's it. Bagley's save. Ronnie Pascal hits the ball, hits the save, gets the save. Chris Bagley's PK missed the fifth kick. Richmond kickers season over for the Hammerheads. What a great year. But the number three seed defeats the Wilmington Hammerheads here on a save by Ronnie Pascal on two veterans battling it out.